Hey guys, today's video, I got a Harley Benton Pro Series bass guitar. Let's take a look at this thing. Alright, so this is a Harley Benton Enhanced MJ4 EB in Lake Blue. So they're calling it Lake Blue, but I think it's kind of a spin-off of Lake Placid Blue. And this is kind of in the stylings of a jazz bass. You've got this great color. It's got the matching headstock. Ebony fretboard with these white block fretboard inlays. They look really nice. And you know what's kind of neat about this? It has a zero fret. So a lot of times guys worry about you know, how's the, how's the nut? Is it cut right? With the zero fret, the string actually lays right on top of that first fret right there, the zero fret, and that's how you get your string height. So that's kind of a cool thing. They used to do that a lot back in the 70s. Harley Benton has brought it back. So you got the binding running down the side of the neck, and this is a modern C neck profile. 22, get this, stainless steel frets. So you can play this bass basically forever and you're not going to wear these frets out. It's very unlikely that you're going to get little dents and divots in these frets because these babies are stainless steel. So the pickups in the bridge, it's a Roswell MA-4 Alnico 5 humbucker. And you can split coil this thing. You've got a two band EQ right here. You can get a ton of tone variations out of this bass. Here's your main volume. Your volume control has a push pull function. I can feel you got a notch right there in the center of this. And so you can roll back between the bridge pickup and the neck pickup. Tons of tone variations in this guitar. And then I can also see right here that you have your truss rod adjustment easy access right in there in the heel you don't have to pull the neck off you don't have to take a uh, truss rod cover plastic piece off of the to adjust it super easy to adjust the truss rod and you have a roswell pm4a alnico 5 the single coil in the center look at the size of these slugs they're huge this kind of reminds me of like Ernie Ball, Music Man kind of stuff right there. And this guitar has a three-ply white perloid pick guard where it goes white, black, white. Chrome hardware. The machine heads are called WSC JB45 machine heads. Yeah, so another thing is they have the tag on the back there that says made in Indonesia. And I've had other Harley Benton guitars and they don't tell you where the item is made and where it came from. So that's kind of a cool thing right there. And like I said, it's got a maple neck and that's that modern C shape. And very narrow up here at the, uh, at the nut. Just like very, very similar to a vintage Fender jazz bass. So on the back of the guitar, this is where you put your battery for your preamp. And this is kind of unusual too. They got six bolts holding that neck on there. And then you can see back here where they have the string through the body. All right, so with this all the way forward, they can feel the notch right there, but all the way forward, it's the front pickup right here. through where you feel that notch it'll blend the two pickups together okay now all the way back I believe it's just this pickup alone this with 
with this switch. There, that sounds full right there. This is your two-way EQ right here. So all the way forward. You boost the, the lows. All the way back. You cut the lows. Thanks a lot for watching. It is the Harley Benton Pro Series Jazz Bass. Lake Blue, they call it. I'm going to call it Lake Placid Blue. But for this price, what a great bass guitar. Very much like a jazz bass. It almost looks exactly like a jazz bass. But there you guys go. Thanks a lot for watching. Harley Benton Bass Guitar. Good stuff.